Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker and welcome to a new Let's Try series of Evil Democracy 1932, game just released into early access on June 6th. You play as essentially the leader of a political party. You're not the leader itself, but you're the guiding hand of the political party. In 1932, 1935, or 1936, depending on the nation that you pick. And then you try and get your political party into power. Left, right, far left, far right, center left, center right, straight center. All of these are represented by actual political parties that existed at the time. And you can play, as I said, as Germany as the UK, as France. I mean, you can play as Germany and you can, if you so wanted to, play as the Nazi party. I'm not gonna be doing that because I live in Germany and I don't really want to be talking uh, too loudly about uh, propping up Hitler or something. I have neighbors. Um, so instead, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and pick Great Britain and uh, try and swing them. I think we're gonna try and swing them as far right as possible. We're going to go with an extreme right party and see what we can do with that. Um, it should also be noted that this game was is made by Hamster Gaming, who created Evil Bank Manager. If you're familiar with that game, apparently it's very similar in a lot of ways to that, except instead of trying to make money, we're just uh, trying to influence the electorate and make money and maybe seize power, maybe get underhanded. I don't really know. Um, I have not really played the game at all. Um, okay, I shouldn't say at all. I did the tutorial and I tinkered. I tinkered for a little bit. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, it seems pretty complex. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to be swinging in the dark a lot. But, hey, you know what? We can discover together. So... We're going to go as Great Britain, 1935, two years after the election, Neville Chamberlain became Prime Minister of the Conservatives. The Munich Agreement and the policy of appeasement became his main mistakes. You must change this. Elections on turn 250. So I guess by turn 250, we have to uh, have enough popular support in order to get voted in. So we are, as I said, going to be playing as the far right, the new party. You can see right there, it is challenging. <laughs> It is very, very challenging. Okay, I mean, I have no expectations. I'm sorry about that. I had no expectations. How, in fact, can that possibly be? Sorry, I use my phone as a camera and it's like low battery, but it's actually charging at the moment, which is peculiar. Anyways, anyways, right, we're going to go with the new party. Very little party supporters, very little financing. I mean, as I said, the expectations of winning are basically nothing. But that's fine. I don't really mind. I mean, we could, right? We got four stars, five stars out of seven. We could make it easier by taking more money. We could make it harder by taking less. Um, I think I'm just going to start with kind of the default here, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. And let's go ahead and start. So this is our headquarters. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of the management going on here. Um, managing our editorial team because print and newspapers and dissemination of information is going to be one of the more important things to do. Um, also, we have the map here, which we can send people out into the world to go ahead and do things. Votes for move. I guess we are move. I, I don't know what votes for move actually means, but uh, we have 0% basically everywhere. I think I think we are not even on the board right now. I don't think we are on the board at all. Conservatives are in the lead. Labor Party, Liberal Party, National Liberal, National Labor Organization, the new party. You guys can't actually see it. Boop. There's our little emblem, but this is kind of the safest place that I found to put my head in. Um, so we're just going to be uh, over the logo. And what do we do to start? Well, <laughs> we've been told, assign a leader to the post. So we need someone to be leading our newspaper. That's not this. Um, we need someone to lead our party, right? We just strengthen certain areas of the party's activities. No, addition. So yes, this is our newspaper editor. We have Oswald Mosley over here. He's the only one available to us. We can put him in there. He's got stats, eloquent language. Having charisma, determination, and level of belief. What, what they do right now, we, I don't think we're need, going need to worry too much about. Um, but we can put people in charge of strikes, people in charge of sponsors, a treasurer, elections. And then we can eventually hire more people, which we're going to want to do, I think. 
I think we want to hire people right now. Cost of hiring a new junior leader is 200 and what? Well, one, one million two hundred. That's a lot. Let's back it up a little bit. Over here, we can see we have 27,000 voters. That is not <laughs> very many. I'm just going to tell you right now, 4,141 sponsors. Sponsors give us money. I know that much. We have zero staff. We have a budget of 2.5 million. And we only make 129,000 per turn. I think the most important thing for us to do from the get-go is to be able to raise some sponsors. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to need um, editorial people. So I'm going to hire some journalists. We can initially just go and look for some journalists. And you can see we can sort by how much they cost and how good they are at things. We want to find people who are cheap but good, like this guy. He's He's got an eight... I mean, I don't know why they are so cheap. You're you're very cheap. You have an eight. We're going to hire you because you're again an eight in newspapers. We're also going to hire someone who's good at leaflets. At least that's all for now. And now we can put them on our editorial team. So who's handling the leaflets? You are. All right. Plus eight in leaflets. Great. Oh, also, the music with the game. <laughs> it's got to be a placeholder. The game is an early act. Let me put this guy here. Yes. Uh, I turned it off because it's just like, it sounds like generic rock or hip-hop-ish music made in GarageBand, which did not really fit at all. I mean, this song, it sounds nice, but I was like, ah, this does not make me feel like I'm doing any kind of evil democracy going on in 1935. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh some of my own music here we go it's far too loud for me though <laughs> hold on a second this is actually music that i used uh copyright free music that i use in uh most of my older tales of my games All right now that we're back to it I think it I think it feels a little bit better. I mean, it does get a little bit of fantasy, but it's some kind of classical music and you know, what were they jamming to in the in the high offices of power at that time? So, we got some journalists, right? We put our two guys in. We we don't need more. Um we're going to want to print because printing newspapers and leaflets is an extremely important part of propaganda. Add articles written by your journalist to an edition to get additional bonuses. So, we kind of want to I think do this right from the very beginning um instead of you know waiting because really just getting sponsors it's not very many it's not very many maybe will my journalists write papers print this is just printing okay we got a journalist we don't have any staff and I don't really know actually what all of these guys do. Promoters you need. We're going to hire a bunch of promoters. Apparently, right, you can buy a lot of them here. Um, I don't think we need that many though right now. Let's start off here. Hire them. Now let's go back to print. It's still not uh, very many. <laughs> it's still not a whole lot of them. Maybe what we need is journalists to write articles, but how does one even do that? These are just hiring journalists. Add article. Article queue has not been filled, so we don't have any articles available, but I'm hoping that maybe they'll write one in the next turn, so we'll just kind of leave it at that. Um, our leaders... <sighs> Do we want to hire somebody to meet with sponsors right now or a treasurer? It might make... I mean, I don't know the effect of it, right? We don't know the effect. And it's very, very expensive to hire somebody new here. Activists' level of belief. Oh, party loyalty. Second leader uses half of his parameters. Yeah, I kind of want... Uh, I don't, I'm not looking for election fraud, necessarily. I don't know if we can really afford a secondary party leader. That seems very, 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 very expensive for me. So I think what we're going to do... I mean, 
We could put out activists and agitators. But this will attract voters, which I don't... I'm not really worried about spending money on agitation. And I'm not really worried about spending money on activists. Fighting for influence. Because right now, I really, I just think that the primary thing that we need to do is secure more sponsors so we can bring in more cash. So I'm just going to end the first turn. We're going to have a quiet first turn. The ideology of your party is far right. Fascist dogma, fifth column, can be attained with minimal fines. Dogmas of other ideologies will receive greater fines. So we can see. If we wanted to, we could put in... The party dogma. These are things that they're, I mean, they're just kind of like policies, right? That we can put in. Description, the elimination of punishment, harsh punishment for petty crimes. Far right, so that's easy for us. It increases profits, but we lose support from regular voters. Profits by 50% for 20 turns, and we lose 1% total number of the regular voters in each region. I think we can accept that. We, what do we care about 27, I mean... 270 voters that's uh that's a drop in the bucket we will accept a dogma you want me to print i'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit more but maybe just because it's blasting away in my ears yeah you want me to to print a newspaper i mean do we just go just go all out here total price 1.5 million that seems absurd 90 of our promoters will be involved we'll get some new voters but we don't have any articles still and like the turn has come and there's still no new articles and I can't do anything to do ah because it takes yeah zero percent I guess we're just stuck with that one maybe I could have picked other ones I didn't actually realize I thought only the one was available to me we could go with superior race attracts voters four hundred percent of regular voters from all regions have become your supporters 20 turns. 1% of the total number of regular voters in each region no longer support you. I'm, I'm curious as to what that even means. Well, we're not going for that one. Government in all sectors. Party funds increased by 10%. Interesting. Authoritarian leader. Raised the status of the party leader. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, Report. Yeah, we didn't print anything. We had expenses. We had income. Demonstrations did not happen. Nothing changed here. And, and we don't have... Apparently... Any more... Um, I mean, I can open a new slot in the newspaper, but... Apparently we did not have anything really happen. So maybe I should have just printed on the first turn. Cost 201k... I mean, leaflets. Do we just go big right now? Yeah, okay. I'll spend the 615. Let's print and see what happens. It's happened, okay. No feedback, interesting. Um, I don't know what the point of activate, I mean, of any of these guys are for us. I don't know um, necessarily... If we want to hire agitators, I mean, we don't have any agitators. I don't have any to send, so <laughs> how do you uh, actually hire them? It told me in the, in the tutorial, but I have apparently lost it. Are you guys agitators? Yes. I will hire some small amount. I mean, they're not... Oh, uh, they are actually rather expensive. Let's get a couple of agitators going out there. All right? Fine. <laughs> um, and to the map. Sponsors. 
Votes from sponsors, votes from the electorate. Let's see. Are you going to tell me anything here? Something came up. Opportunity. How did I, how did that come up there? Only when I'm not looking, when I'm not paying attention. Okay, fair enough. Um, the opportunity to influence the results with the help of activists opens up three turns before the start of elections. So activists will not be good for us, but agitators maybe. The West Midlands has a lot of votes from sponsors. Maybe that means that there's a lot of sponsors there. Maybe we make the heartlands right center here, our home. Okay, let's do some agitation. equally to all regions, proportionally to the voters. 25% of the regions have the highest number of voters. Okay. Uh, can I send them specifically to a region? Apparently I cannot. I will send my 99. <laughs> they have been sent. We've gone here and here. 24 24, 24, one. We got one guy hanging out. Okay, that's good. Eight positive by total votes. No idea what that means, but okay. We've now spent some money. We've published a newspaper. We end our turn. You want me to hire any number of agitators. Okay, I did hire some agitators, but maybe we should hire more. Spend a little bit more cash? Okay. And then you want me to send them to start campaigning. So it is going to kind of guide me through this a little bit. That's nice. Um, I'm going to just do again what I did and just say send 100% of these guys. Twenty five percent of the regions have the highest number of voters. Yeah. Let's just send them all there. And okay, it's the printing press until it's fully reloaded. Five turns remaining. I cannot even look. Are we gaining sponsors? Do I have any feedback here? We do have printed newspapers and we do have some leaflets. We're rated number three now? Well, holy crap, my voters have definitely gone up a lot. I don't see myself here. We're also making less money per turn than we were before do i have feedback on my on my budget here not really expenses are higher we are making more money but the expenses are higher yeah because i'm paying for agitators my nose is my nose is bothering me um will you tell me the difference that uh, they've made do i have to send my agitators out every turn Agitation. I have gained uh, 1.2k voters. Busy agitating. Yeah, okay. I guess they are still here. Well, you, you don't... Uh, no new sponsors. Which is unfortunate. Do we hire more? Or do we just end the turn? <laughs> hire three more journalists and issue three reporting assignments. Okay. Um, I will look for a, a, as big a pool as I possibly can. Um, I want investigation for a low cost, please. Thank you. Uh, maybe you are actually expensive. And someone who's also good at interviews. I mean, we had the one guy who's good at interviews. We can take you. I mean, you're just good at investigation. I guess that's what you're going to do. And uh, you're very good at interviews, but less good. At, I'll, I'll take you as well. You're also fairly cheap. And issue three reporting assignments. How do I do that? Task. Oh, interesting. Okay, so one of you 
it was good at interviews. Maybe we should interview our guy. Which one of you is, is good at interviews? You, Arthur Gregg. Why don't you interview him? You're going to interview compromising material or slander. Financially harm opponents, speed up the party's electorate selection process. Does slandering do that? Let's look for some compromising material. Who's number one? Why is this number 11? Is that, okay, it's highest. The higher you are, the better off you are, I think is what's going on here. So let's uh, try and screw with these guys. And uh, we can slander someone as well. I, I don't really know. Speed up the party's electorate selection process. Let's just do it and see what happens. I mean, let's just screw with the conservatives as much as possible. Okay. We've got something to do now. At least with those guys. Still can't print anything else. We got the journalists. Let's just wait and see what happens. Appoint another leader to the post. So you want me to hire somebody. I kind of want somebody charismatic. I mean, he's a hundred at everything. Okay. Number of votes may be influenced by the demonstration. Albert Williams, welcome aboard. You have a bonus of 198 for sponsors. 100%. I mean, maybe a treasurer would be better, but I think just... I mean, I don't know what actually what this does. Does this increase the rate of sponsor growth? Can I actually look at um, graphs? You got graphs somewhere? How can this game not have graphs? It doesn't appear to have graphs. Unless I'm just absolutely missing something. Indicates the number of turns during which your press edition cannot be released. Because I've already done my one dogma. And so for 17 turns, yes. Apparently, we're missing some graphs here. An escape just brings you right back to the main menu. All right, let's end the turn. Print a circulation of one million newspapers. I've already spent all my money, people. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Appointed leader to strengthen protests? No. I don't, I don't foresee me doing that because I've already got this thing printing. Journalists... No, let's go back to staff. No, let's go back to editorial team. You guys are still working. Okay. I guess I just end my turn. I mean, I kind of want to save my cash. We are making slightly more money. And I do have... Articles to print. Obviously, we want Oswald Mosley to get better a random parameter gets plus four sure they have less influence on voters i mean what do we care about their budget loss their budget is going to be so crazy and you wanted me to have a circulation of a million Hundred and twenty five of our promoters will be involved. Optimal, which is the most that we can possibly spend. Or it's not the I guess it is the most. And then that's all of my cash, and then what? <laughs> we don't make very much. Um we're gonna have to be a lot more refined, but I think it's I mean, if I spend a hundred K here. I get 27 to 67. If I spend 100k here, I get more. I just straight up get more. 3.7k to 9.3. 2. Point, yeah, so when I'm this low on cash, why would I even care about the leaflets? I mean, I am going to I am going to print the 100k. Or am I just going to print the most that I possibly can here? I guess it's a matter of time, right? 
But I can't... They're going to have a budget loss of this much. That's I can't see that affecting people on the top. But we got to do it. We need new sponsors. So I will, I will print that. The staff. I have way too many of you guys, that's for sure. I mean, how many did I just use? 125? <laughs> Why? Did just having promoters even do anything? Are they they're just kind of sitting there? Yeah, I've got a sponsors map here, but not really a lot of information. Like what what, what can I how can I use this information? I don't see it actually buried anywhere. Um, so, okay, I, I guess I'm going to fire a crap load of promoters. I'm paying them uh, way too much. That's better. That's much better. I still think I, I need even less. Okay. We can shrink the staff. I mean, at least these guys actively, uh, supposedly, <laughs> supposedly do anything. Agitation. You guys doing anything for me? You brought me a couple of a couple of voters. You're bringing in some voters. We got blue bars over here. I guess that's how well they're doing. If anything, I should hire more agitators, but they're expensive, and they they're not bringing me. I mean, the salary is not bad. 10K. That's actually still relative. I mean, I'm going to spend three. I'm going to spend all of my money on it right now. Which I don't think we want to do. The salary is not bad. I'll spend 100,000 and get a couple more of these guys. And maybe, maybe they can uh, start bringing in... Some sponsors? I don't know. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, the journalists. You guys. No, not, not here. Staff. Not here. Editorial team. You're still working on things. Okay. Next turn. Nothing to do. We have no money. Next turn. Sponsors are rising. You guys are just continuing to make compromising material, slanders, and interviews. I mean, it does seem... I mean, 18%. No, you guys have been pretty much the same. Is it even worth having these guys trying to tank this? I'm not sure. Um, I think I just need my money to come in. And uh, we're gaining some voters... Agitation is still, I mean, it, I guess it's 1.2k per turn. But I want to save my money for newspapers. Because newspaper is where it's at. And like, what does opening this slot do? Increases the quality of the newspapers? Because, like, does how much is it worth to hire to spend the cash here? I mean, I guess i just end the turn. Oh, that's been the end of the, my little playlist there. Start from the beginning. This episode's going to be probably about an hour, just so you know. Because I'm kind of feeling the game out. I want to have an opinion. And then I have to say, I will be asking you guys, um, what do you think about the game and whether uh, you want me to continue it? I'll also probably... Give myself a little synopsis, of course. But we're not there yet. We're about halfway there. Um, I guess I'm going to just go next turn. I didn't... Oh, I did. End the turn. We can spend more money now. I can spend the, the 200k here. And then maybe... Maybe we can then spend... I mean, I've got more articles here. Uh, I'm just going to make you better. Uh, maybe just... 
I mean, I can uh, make their budget go worse and reduce their influence, but I think for now... It's better for glorification of the leader? We can spend this... And this... Unavailable, higher effective promoters. We don't have enough. We only have 70 of 275. That's fine. That is fine. It will cost... Not too much. All right, I will hire the promoters again. Let's see. I needed how many? Wait, it said I needed 70? I'm, I'm, I'm... 275. Okay, I just need 70 more than what I have now, which is kind of a confusing way of going about it. I have 205 and I need 70 more. So hire me 70. Can I please type it? This is, can I please like press plus? How am I supposed to get <laughs> 70 on the dot here? Okay, that'll do. We got a decent budget right now. We're going to go to print. We're going to go all out here. We're not going to go all out. We're going to go half out. We're going to, we're going to, okay, we'll put it a little bit here. We'll put in a little bit there. And this way, actually, this is a bit foolish. Why don't I? Why don't I add here and select a journalist who's very good at newspapers? I will I will hire more journalists. It's very cheap to do this. I think it's always worth going for the most high salaries. Yeah, okay. 6.8k for 12. Seems pretty good. I mean, maybe it's more... I mean, what is the salary? It's actually kind of a drop in the bucket. And if I can get another guy who's really quite good. 7k for 12. And now... We, nope, we want to go back here. Uh, we are going to remove... Just straight up remove ya. Plus 12. Plus 12. And I'm going to fire you. Yeah, you have a much higher salary. But I, I mean, what we need now is this kind of compounding of our sponsors. I think that matters above anything else. Of course, our budget is greatly reduced... But I still, I mean, I feel like this has made actually a big difference. That does not make a very big difference. I mean, on the bottom end, it's really not a lot. I'm going to just completely ignore that. And honestly, not journalists, that was a... I think I'm going to just... Oh, because I already... Okay, fine. I should have fired him because I'm not using him and then just hired somebody later. So be it. We are going to save the rest of our money. Is that all I picked? 75k? And we only need 75 promoters now. So I can <laughs> hire, uh, fire all of these guys one more time. a little bit and now we end the turn we want to save our money for the big newspaper jobs right watch those sponsors come in watch that per turn cash go up and now now we can spend the big bucks oh we can hire i totally missed this before that's really nice the question is i mean our budget is looking great right now Before I do this, okay, first of all, add an article. We'll take the random parameter. We'll take the random parameter. 
and we'll take the party budget loss again. And now maybe, can I hire? I mean, it's gonna cost two million. The question is, what what does this do? Oh, I don't want to do that. What does Treasurer do? Manage donations to the party. I mean, he brings in more sponsors. He makes them more effective. So this is definitely the next uh, target that we want to have. But I mean, for now. Okay, cancel. Editorial team. I'm going to remove you. And just straight up fire you. I'll spend the 5k. We'll find somebody who's really good at leaflets. And is a reasonable price. That's pretty good. Welcome aboard. And I wonder. $2.99 to $7.42. Why does... <sighs> yeah, insufficient funds. How much does it actually cost? 731K. We'll hire them. Okay, expenses are going up. We're still making very good money. And I think, I mean, having these really good people in charge is going to make a difference. Done. Having our guy just getting better and better. He's getting more and more eloquent, which is really nice. And now, once again, I mean, maybe we can consider the conservatives are gaining in popularity 19%. Hmm. Maybe we can hire some more agitators. We do have more money to work with now. It's not a very high salary to pay them. Six point four K. Spend all the rest of our money now? No. Let's spend half and just hire some more agitators. And again, we're just gonna continue doing what we're doing. Setting them to the regions that have the highest number of votes. Yep, go ahead, guys. Only 407 number of citizens have been agitated. I mean, maybe we should just be spreading them out equally. Get them in the Scotland North. No, I think it's uh, I think it's better this way. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Um, one turn until our dogma is done. Then we can actually do something else, which will be interesting to see. Again, it's going to be all about money right now. Yeah, apparently we can't do these. We can only do this. Mandatory labor. 60 turns <laughs> to accept the dogma. That's not great. Power of the elites. This is only 20. Attract sponsors. 5% of the sponsors in all regions be have become your sponsors. We lose number of regular voters, but I mean, again, it's all about the cash. We need to get more sponsors. So we get more voters. So we get more money. And then, and then one day, I'm getting me less and less. Probably, I, I feel like maybe because these guys are doing a lot of agitators, but that's fine. If they want to agitate, I'm just trying to get my finances in order. Right? We're just bringing in the money. Wow, what? That's made a big difference. Um, okay. Again, I think just making him better while hurting their budget is the way to go. We can start to spend more and more. I mean, we could also, yeah, let's um actually be a little bit more timid here. 400 and 500. How? It's not even an option. 
to go 500k. 1.4 million. It's just like I'm going to spend all of your money. We're not going for that because I think I want to hire somebody. So we're going to keep it a little bit tight right now. And then one, two, three. We can now go back, hire a new leader. And again, I mean, what is better for sponsors here? I mean, I don't really know. I mean, right? I mean, if what is the what does the treasurer do? I just want money, so I mean, obviously, going for treasurer you could falsify an election as well. I feel like again, being in front of a crowd makes a difference. Can't really see that. He's the best, but he's got low level of belief. So he might step down and leave the party. It's a lot of money. We're going to go with Robert Forgan here. And uh, you can give me a bonus of 128K. Just straight up. You just you just tell me there. Okay. You just give a bonus. Probably scaling based on the number of sponsors you have. But we will take that for sure. Our money is going up significantly. We can do another print. And now, folks... Now we can start going pretty big here. What about Optimum? Somehow I can spend more money than I'm able to by doing Optimum. Sure. Give me that random parameter, random parameter. Party budget loss. 1.6 million. Spend it. We need... Apparently we don't need... Yeah. Apparently we don't need... Um... but I can't. Okay, I guess this is all I can do. I don't know why it gave me the option. Maybe I need more promoters? We're at two, t turn 218. I mean, the time is gonna come soon to start ramping up these guys. For now, we're gonna be still pretty, we're gonna be pretty coy with it. We can, I mean, we can start ramping it up. In fact, let's let's buy, let's actually spend some cash on it. I'm losing voters by the agitation. How do you figure that? Because I'm being out agitated? Maybe. Let's end the turn and see. Getting more agitators definitely made a difference there. But really, it's all about our newspapers. Um, we're still not on the list here, which is not great. Will you tell me? How can I see my progress report? Influence on the electorate is very low. I mean, our newspapers is making a big difference. We are in last place. <laughs> it's fine though. It's fine. The plan is we're going to we're going to just we're focusing on the cash right now. So later on we can just explode. I mean there's a limited amount of voters, right? So taking them now, I mean, we can just lose them quite as easily. The money though, the money, we can just make more and more and more of. And we're going to really try and continue going for that. Could think about hiring more journalists. It's one million. It's not bad, but it's a one-time fee, right? It's a one-time fee. Let's take a look. 17?
Okay. I want only the best. Plus five, yeah. Only the best. I'm afraid 12 newspapers just doesn't cut it anymore. We can't actually afford to put them in the position. And honestly, I mean, probably getting better newspaper uh, men here is going to be worth it. Let's spend, go one turn. So then we can actually buy this and put this guy in place. And then four turns, we take in the cash. Sponsorship is growing. We can now spend a lot of money on our newspapers here. <sighs> Did we do it? <laughs> can I do optimal? Apparently. Apparently not. Let's go. Let's just spend everything we have. 1.9 million? Done. Gonna bring in a lot more sponsors though. I mean, we have 12,000, but we can bring up to 2,000 more right now. Now, my dogmas, right? Like, what do I need to do to unlock them? I'm not sure. Maybe you need more leaders. Strikes doesn't make sense. There, there aren't any protests. Wow, his newspaper has gone up a lot. Activists, okay. Strengthens the staff during election fraud. Charisma and level of belief have not changed at all. Okay. We are still probably in last place. Rating number one. That's that's not true. <laughs> uh, we do have a lot of cash, though, to start throwing around. Um, probably... Probably what we want to do is fire you guys. Bop, bop, bop. And just get better journalists in place here. I know I could be doing this a lot better. Um, and really, like, price is not a concern for me. Somebody with very high but a cheaper price. I mean, 16 is pretty good. 9.8k for that 18, yeah. And since I'm kind of digging into the uh, interview, pro I'm, can only one of them interview at a time? I wonder. You can do both. You're also just, you're freaking good at everything, but you are very expensive. But it's really, it's kind of getting to be a drop of the bucket, right? Um, your investigation of 18 though, but you're also, you're just expensive, generally. I mean, we kind of just want the highest. I'll pay the extra money to have the ability because I don't actually know. And look at that, I finally remembered. Um, can you interview? I'm sorry? Oh, we can interview all of you. <gasps> I see. I see. And so wait, what, it targets charisma? But we targeted eloquent language. Oh yeah, you interview him. I mean, if I can just, really, I can just interview the same guy over and over again? Okay. I feel like just boosting up my leaders right now. Maybe also Albert Williams here. I mean, if you make my newspapers better, that's the thing. If you just make my newspaper better. Then you make everything better. 
Yeah. Everybody, just interview that one guy. We're just going to print a crap load of interviews. Oh, I forgot to add articles here. Plus six is nice. And I mean, we can. All right, let's just try it. Oh, this is the next edition. I don't want to do that. I hope I had uh, selected articles there, but I may not have, which is really crappy. We're going to let our money come in. I'm just going to click through. Okay, we somehow unlocked authoritarian leader. Raises the status of the party leader. We'll go to 200. Staff expenses are 5% higher. Yeah, sure. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we have an inc a really, really insane budget right now. Which means I'm going to hire a bunch more out of you guys. Yeah. We're going to spend that 2.3 million because it, it's time. I mean, we've maybe gotten our finances in a better position. Let's see. We got a lot more. We're losing votes from the agitation. Let's see what happens. Now we're gaining it because I did spend a lot of money on it. It's true. We'll just go to the next turn. Again, all the money that we probably can. Add an article this time, though, please. Plus seven, plus six, plus six. <laughs> We're just going to, like, make him an absolute madman? I guess so. Did I print? Done. Glorification of the leader, Oswald Mosley. Let's get it out there. The people have got to know. Mm-hmm. And I'm, again, I mean, if we go and look at agitators... We are, I mean, the number has changed a lot. I wish you could hire agitators in that screen. Shall we just spend an absolutely insane amount on them? No. Let's just hire some agitators. Go. And again, it should now tell us we've gained some, but not many. <laughs> not very many at all. Uh, and again, I think I'm still pretty happy to turn my money back to here. While making him better and better and better. However, we now have quite a bit of that. Editorial staff. Um, you are good at investigation. Why don't we start harming them? And really the only one that matters is you. You guys can keep churning out these interviews. Time to print. Can spend a lot of money on it. Save more money. We're over a million. We can uh, get a new leader, or your three million. Wow, very expensive. Um, we can afford you though. Hire me a journalist. Let's go find someone really good at newspapers. Yeah. Apparently, the better you are at uh, that, <laughs> the better guys you can get. Your leaflets are pretty bad. It's worth the money, 21? Damn. And uh, you can just be fired? Be fired. And there it is. Ten turns left for that. We spent all of our money. All of our money. But we do get it back very quickly. 
random parameters just making you better and better but now we're gonna start printing I think part party budget loss I suppose so take you guys off of the interviews none of you are very good at, I mean you're okay at investigation but for the price we're paying, I mean, I think I would have one guy interviewing now, but it's going to be somebody different, like Albert here. Let's start boosting our other guys. Sure. Continue going for the compromising material. For whatever it's worth. Time to print. Yep. It does bring in a lot more sponsors. Are we still in last? God, no, we are not. We are in number six, my friends. Number six. Has my screen... Has my camera been glitching out for like a super long time? Well, we're going to turn the camera off then. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Um, eh? What is this? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Say goodbye. I don't know what's going on with the camera, but it's okay. I hope it hasn't been happening for too long, but... Yeah, my camera seems super glitched. Just kind of stuck. Anyways, um... Where were we? We spent the money. We did not spend the money because we don't. Oh no. Um. Am I just ending the turn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We already we already paid for it. The music is already gone. Put it back on. Five turns for dogmas. We can think about ag agitation again. I mean. Our voters are growing. Why, why? No. No influence on voters from the newspapers. Let's just let our budget go up. Oh, nice. We can do this. 400% of regular voters from all regions. Superior race, oh boy. The Britain race. We are losing support from regular voters for 1%, but why would you not? That seems crazy to me. We can spend also just so much money right now on this. Ooh, yeah. You have a lot of bonuses here, huh? Plus four, plus three. I'll give you the plus five. Let's get these guys to be a little bit better, maybe. 3.4 million on the newspapers. But we will be making, we will be reaching a lot of people. And I didn't do it. I don't know why. But... Okay. Okay some reason I failed to print it. Um, we do have a lot of cash right now. And we could have a secondary leader to meet with the sponsors, which seems pretty good to me. You've got high charisma. You're actually quite good at everything. 50% Kind of wish uh, I had switched you guys, but that's fine. Maybe we get more sponsors now. We are making a lot of money. I suspect our agitators are doing very badly. Yeah. Wow. Um, though our voters are rising. Hundred and eighty-three turns. Our voters are actually going down right now. 
We are focusing mega hard on these sponsors, aren't we? I'll take the plus five, I'll take the plus five, I'll take the plus five. New voters. It should. Um, maybe it's time to hire a lot of you guys. Spend all of our money. Let's get some agitation out there, shall we? Minus 9.2k. We're now sending a lot of people out there. And the agitation is still minus 7.3k. We gain a big block, but then the agitation, we're not gaining it anymore. Our money per turn went down. Huh. We can continue just to spend a, as much money as possible on this. Party budget loss. Sure. We'll print it. The rest of the money. Wish we could hire agitators here. Nope, not that. Back to headquarters. Staff. Hire all that we can. All right now, we can. I think we can start ramping this up. And maybe we just go equally to all regions here. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to do this. Minus 10.0. Agitation, minus 7.2. Equally to all the regions. Minus 12.5. Okay, that went much worse. Minus 12. Minus 12.7. Okay, it's just people putting more money in, I think. We are number seven, 1.8 million. 1.8 million votes from the electorate. I wish we could see our percentage. Yeah, we're losing them in a lot of places, which is fine. You know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta let some things go. And I mean, again, we are starting to spend our money on things that don't necessarily directly translate back into money. Any good plus to the parameters here? Plus five, plus five. Par party budget loss. I mean, they're at 25%. I can't, it can't be doing really much to them, right? Minus 100,000? Like, do they even care, is the question. Do they even care? Um, I don't know that they do. Three million to get one more newspaper man. Something maybe we might want to do. Okay. We've done the superior race. Raises the status of the party leader. Um, is he actually not there? Wow. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We do have a new one. Isolate dissenters. Mass isolation of different parts of the population. Oh boy. Things are getting dark here. Things are getting dark. Raises the status of the party leader. One of the parameters of your party leader increases by one every turn. But somebody's going to leave. Oh, I can't do it again. But somebody's going to leave, which means I'm going to have to spend a lot to do it. We could do private business. Raises the status of the party leaders. Random junior party leader has increased to 160. By 8 through 20 years. 
part of loyalty for one of your leaders has the faith in the party members reduced by a total of 100 Five, yeah so people are going to leave including potentially the guy that we boost up here that sounds seems terrible i mean i think we just have to accept it party leader gets better and somebody's going to leave i mean our leader is good are there protests Fight for influence begins. Doesn't seem like it. We can organize demonstrations. Oh. What did I just do? <laughs> Appoint a leader. Yeah. I should have had a leader there. Could have been doing that for a while, perhaps. Okay, interesting. Um, we have four turns for our newspaper. We're going to let our money keep coming in and just spending as much as we can. Somebody's going to leave, so it feels a little bit bad to boost this. Minus 91k. <sighs> yeah, we'll print it. I think what we need here... Show me some, some new guys. We've got better ones here. Wow, wow, wow. 28 in the leaflets, huh? Someone really good at investigation, but it's cheaper. I'm in. 18K, because you are just a newspaper god. Yes, you are. Well, you actually are going to go into slander. And maybe you can do something there. We're making the money. We can print. We're already locked in here. Okay. One more round, I think, and then we're going to actually call it quits here. I mean, we're making the money. We're making the money. We're in ninth place now, I guess. We're still not here. How do I see... Like, I, I can't just see a list of everyone. I'm just in ninth place and I have to... <sighs> Demonstrations did not happen. I mean, I can strength... I can get someone here. Somebody who is good at protests, the demonstration. You're the best at it. Hired. Okay. I'd been ignoring that. And now we don't have enough money. That just makes sense. We do make a million a turn, which is quite nice. We can't spend as much here as we used to, but that's okay. Um, I'll take your random parameter. I'll take your random parameter. And I know influence on voters is somewhere in there. Is plus two? Mi minus two? Pl plus two. It gives them plus two influence on voters. <sighs> okay, I don't really know what that means. I know I said this was going to be the last round, but we can do demonstrations here. And like, but what does it do? I can only do demonstrations. Strikes and protests are much more expensive. Let's just do some demonstrations. It would be nice if there was more immediate feedback on this. Does, does that gain you? I mean, 
Voters sponsors price. So this just straight up gains you voters and sponsors. apparently failed to print okay you can print now let's save up a little cash I mean I'm sure my agitation is doing terribly it is because they are <laughs> they have a lot more agitators than I do I can spend two million on this but I lose this in three turns. Five million for a strike. Ten million. I mean, this is much, much more cost effective than doing a strike. Same thing as this. I mean, the demonstrations are just so much more cost effective. We'll let it go through one more. Let's just, we'll, okay, we're done. Boom. All right. I'm not even going to print the newspaper. We're going to put a cut into here. And um, yeah, I got to say, interesting game. At some points when I was playing it, I kind of felt, I wonder, hold on a second. Will you come back to me? Why do you think that you're not charging? <gasps> Because it's not plugged in. I'm a fool. There we go. All right, we're just gonna. I'm gonna get my my head back here, real quick. Uh, boom. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's better. I had messed up something on the setup there. So, yeah, as I was playing the game, I was like, it kind of feels like there's a little bit of emptiness right i mean you you make some decisions you select uh you know what you print you hire some people you have your staff but it did kind of feel like there wasn't that much to do a lot of the time um and i'd have to wonder about kind of replayability in that and like this is what i thought this is what i thought but then i couldn't stop clicking the next turn button and that's something notable right i mean it's definitely fun I'm definitely having a great time playing it. And you know what? Because because we're out of character now, I'm going to pause this. And we're going to go back to the music that they provide. Which, if you think this is fitting to Evil Democracy 1932, um, the option is there. The option is there, folks. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back. I got, a new, <laughs> I got a new chair. It's kind of ridiculous. Hold up. Hold up. Look at this, look at this thing. Okay, it's very difficult to see. It is a massive lounge chair. Um, and it's supposed to be like my office chair. It's really, really comfortable, but it doesn't fit the qualifications. My wife got it for me for my birthday because it's actually high enough for me. Most chairs are not uh, tall enough for someone of my stature. And um, this is what she found. It's so nice, but I have to give it back because it doesn't really work great for office. Anyways, I'm getting totally off track here. I'm a little worried about the replayability for the game. Um, it's just, you know, I was having fun. I'm making decisions quickly. Like I came in with a plan, to, but I don't even know. I mean, like how much strategy am I actually employing? I mean, I'm making some micro decisions. Maybe like you just go with, pushing for the voters early on until instead of the sponsors, though I'd have to say that I think that that's a terrible idea, and just focusing on the economy in the beginning is the way to go. Totally uninformed opinion. Uh, but I do, I do have to question uh, how... Sorry, I'm actually going to look up the price of the game, because the game was given to me for free. I should mention that as well. Evil Democracy 1932 on steam the price is 10 euros 10 dollars maybe for that price it's not bad 
Um, and uh, I'm less concerned about that replayability factor. It's actually pretty good. But I've also forced to compare it to a game like, say, High Strategy Uricon, which I just played, which is actually one euro cheaper, or maybe it was also on sale. Maybe it's also 10. Um, but that game, I feel like I could play for a lot. So I'm, I, I had a great time with the game. Another major gripe that I have is where are my logs? Where's my data? Where's my graphs? This game is all numbers. I need feedback on what I'm doing. I need more immediate, more easily accessible. If it's there and I'm just not finding it, then I need it more easily accessible. Um, feedback for the decisions that I'm making because I don't really know the impact. I can't look at a log and, and it explicitly shows me, you know, from last turn you made this much from your sponsors and now this turn you're making this much from your sponsors. Maybe if I dug and I looked, but like, you know, hiring the guy, uh, for example, hiring this guy. You know, it told me when I hired him the difference that he made. But I don't know, I couldn't look at it before. I don't know how much impact he has as I'm raising his stats. So like this kind of thing would really, really make a big difference in the game for me. And having that, it like, because then the replayability also comes in is like when I'm getting that feedback on what I'm doing, I'm able to kind of say, okay, maybe if I like try a slightly different strategy here, if I try, you know, maybe if I modify my decision making in these ways, Okay, I then have the feedback of the things I'm doing actually making that much of a difference. Um, instead of just like kind of like, okay, you know, my sponsor numbers is growing and along with it my per turn numbers are growing. And, okay, I'm I'm spending more money on my print here and this is giving me more net sponsors, but like how much does a sponsor give me per? Um, what is even... What does even this mean? A spot, it's been zero the entire time. Um, just having a little bit more of that granular data as well as like, you know, I can't just see a list of everyone's support. That must be, I must just be blind. I must just be blind. For example, I mean, okay, um, this thing, no, which one? 1% 1 of the total number of regular voters. Can you show me like how that's actually affecting things? 400% of regular voters from all regions become their supporters? the hell does that even mean <laughs> i can't as far as i can tell i can't really find this information i mean i can't scroll like this this, this should be pages i need pages here I need pages. Okay, this is kind of turned into a rant against the game. Um, but, like, the the reason I see this is because I feel like it could be a lot better um, if they did that. And, honestly, maybe I'm just going to make an entire another video where I review this um, and just kind of talk about this a little bit. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Still, I had a lot of fun. I would like to finish it, but I'm going to put that one up to you guys. Depending on the kind of traffic that I get, depending on the likes as well, the comments, let me know. The likes is a great way to tell me, okay, we want to see more of this. We want to see more of this, and I will listen. You know, I've, I've been trying a new thing where I'm putting out a couple of videos um, for multiple games, and then I'm checking it out. Monster Train. I fucking love Monster Train. Nobody cared about it <laughs> at least on this channel or coming to this channel for it um and so i was like okay you know i cut it and then i can put something else in and this could be that game as well as help supporting the channel of course um it does help out with that and in that line i do have a patreon if you want to support the channel quick thanks to my two patrons that i have right now of the builder tier um daniel barasaba whose name i've now mentioned and parakamu whose name I probably just got wrong there. <laughs> and uh, I should be more professional in this manner, shouldn't I? Pasukaru. I got it. Your name is coming, my friend. You're not, I, I'll, I'm, I'm going to get it ingrained too. That link will be down below, as well as to my Twitch, as well as to my Discord, if you want to come and join, as well as to my Twitter, if you want to tweet at me. You can find all those things down below. And until next time, my name is Man the Mager. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.